Hello and welcome to another mini clip of the trust technique with horses. This is a lovely horse called Arthur and what you're observing is myself sitting next to Arthur and I've got my mind into what can be known as a peaceful or present state of being. This requires me being very focused and my mind activity being very minimal. When this happens next to an animal, they respond to that in a way that their minds also go quiet. So what's happening right now with Arthur, his eyes are firmly closed and he's entering a very sleep-like, trance-like state with me, a very trusting area. You can see him slowly going deeper and deeper. Now what was interesting with Arthur is um, when he was in this deep state, if you listen to the audio, it was quite a surprise for us all. So in this deep trance-like state, Arthur was taken back to a memory. He was obviously calling another horse. Um, I actually have a gut feeling that that was a very dear memory and I believe he was actually calling his mother. So in this very trance-like state, there's a, there's a lot of healing that can happen. A peaceful, quiet mind doesn't just help you on an emotional level but it can also help with um, physical healing as well. Now I wanted to demonstrate with Arthur that um, not only if you quieten your mind will they come down with you and join you in that peaceful state, but also when you wake up as well. So if you observe my breathing and what I do here to wake up and then observe Arthur, it's quite an interesting moment. So you can see that I bring my mind right up and, and Arthur comes from this lovely deep trance-like state and he joins me. How reflective is this on our relationship with animals? Yes, you're observing this with uh, two very relaxed beings, but look at the extremes of that when we're anxious and upset around our animals. Of course they feel it and of course they respond to it. So when we get anxious about the behaviors of our animals, are we helping them? No, we're actually adding to the problem. Screaming and shouting at animals does not work. When we bring our stress and our strain from our ordinary working existence and our life, and we are around our animals, of course they pick up on that. And sometimes that can affect them with both behavioral and physical ailments as well. So what you're seeing now is I'm just sitting quite peacefully with Arthur, letting him wake up. Um, I actually felt very close to him at this time. And you'll see that he starts to, to get up and I just wanted to stay with him. Um, what I find quite interesting here is how we both get up that we both honor each other's space and um, we're still very connected to each other.